Holy and blessed Jesus Christ, the perfect radiance of the eternal Heavenly Father, who enlightens us with joy. As dusk draws in upon us and the evening lights appear, we sing our praise-filled hymns to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Son of God, you deserve that every age joyfully sing your praise, for you give life, and so all the world gives to you its glory. As the day comes to an end, we say together, Search me, O God, and know my heart, examine me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me into the path everlasting. In the full confidence that those who seek the Lord God are assured of his peace, we say, May the peace of the Father be ours tonight. May the peace of the Son be ours tonight. May the peace of the Spirit be ours tonight. May the peace of all peace that flows from the Father through the Son and by the Holy Spirit be ours tonight and every night. Amen. Before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word, and tonight we listen to Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants for ever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her own age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. With Gabriel's words to Mary, the silence of the century was both broken, and the Lord found one prepared to receive the promise of the ages, for none of his words can fail. Lord of the promise, just as you found in Mary a heart ready to receive your word, and a will tuned to ready obedience, so may we, with awe and delight, welcome him who is our Lord and our Saviour. How precious are your thoughts, O God! How vast their sum! If I were to count them all, they would outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. And when I awake, I am still with you. Thus may the peace of all peace be ours tonight and every night, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>